Well, what's your first read here uh, on this latest uh, beige book? Well, I don't think anybody is surprised by the fact that the Fed characterizes the economy as downshifting. We've all seen the numbers start to fade over the month of August and into September as the Delta variant takes hold across the country. Uh, Taylor mentioned the JOLTS numbers, and that is referenced in the minutes today as uh, demand for workers continues to strengthen the minutes, say, but all districts noted extensive labor shortages that are constraining employment and, in many cases, impeding business activity. Uh, they cite increased turnover, early retirements, and we've seen that with a lot of uh, baby boomers, child care needs, challenges in negotiating job offers. And they do mention the enhanced unemployment benefits that went away on Monday. So we'll see if that changes going forward. But for right now, they say because there's a shortage of employees, we're seeing an acceleration in wages, wage growth characterized as strong and especially brisk among lower wage workers. They're using more frequent raises, bonuses, training and flexible work arrangements to try to get a hold of people. By the way, they say the deceleration in economic activity largely attributable to pullbacks in dining out, travel, and tourism, with the exception of Ms. Riggs, who uh, has been all over the country over the, the last <laughs> month or so. My part. The other sectors of the economy where growth slowed, constrained by not only the labor shortages, but by the supply disruptions you were mentioning, Carol. Yeah. Mike, I, all of this seems to be echoing some of the issues we felt on Friday with the labor number. What do you uh, do if you can't dare? sort of read this from a Powell perspective? Is this just going to feed into the narrative he's already expecting, what he already sees? It probably was because I don't think the markets are at this point expecting anything different out of the Fed's characterization of the economy. John Williams, the uh, vice president of the Open Market Committee, president of the New York Fed, uh, was just speaking and said that he needs to see more and better data before he decides that the labor part of the mm -hmm. Fed's mandate has been met. They've pretty happy with the where inflation is at the moment, but they want to see more job growth. And we just don't know. This was supposed to be, September is supposed to be the month when things will turn around yeah. because we've got back to school, we've got the end of the enhanced employment benefits. Uh, let's see uh, what we get uh, when we get to October.